Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. I'm here today with our altered calendar for the month of May. And before I get going on that, I wanted to show you the um, pictures that Ardith sent me of the one that she's doing. It's really bright in my room right now, in my craft room. So I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see, um, you know, this okay. It's, it is kind of difficult, but there's so many shadows on it. This is her month of July. <clears throat> and, um, she was doing a, oh gosh, she told me the theme. I have a hard time remembering something about Monty Python because there's some humor to it, but then also like the, you know, seriousness of things. Um, anyway, it's, she's brilliant. And so there's always like a, a reason for what she's doing and I'm not smart enough to know it. <laughs> so let's go to the next one. Okay. So August, this one's really cool. So, um, again, she's taking the calendar pages and she's, in some cases she's covering up the whole thing, but like in this case, I guess there was, um, it was a beach one and she's actually, I think left part of what was the picture and she, she actually painted like to join what was there to a piece of paper that she added. So very talented. And she's got uh, people in their old swimsuits out there swimming, things like that. And then this is her September, which is very cool. I remember looking at old, so um, she said that this was um, 1968, I think is what she said the theme was. And so there's a 17 magazine, which of course, you know, I wasn't a around yet in the 60s, but I remember seeing um, 17 magazines when I was in elementary school back in the 80s. Let's see, elementary school in the 80s? Yes. Uh, 70s and 80s, but <clears throat> I remember seeing the 17 magazines and all us girls were going for it. You know, like in the library, they had a magazine section and um, we all wanted to sit and look at those. For some reason, I don't know, there were never, like they didn't keep the old copies around and stuff. So we were all trying to get our hands on the same month. It was kind of silly. All right, so I've been... Um, haven't been around the last few days I've been painting so I told you guys that we had someone come and retexture the walls for the um, stairwell going down into the basement our basement is a finished basement and like my husband's office is down there and my son's bedroom is down there and like there's a small living space and stuff like that so it's not like you know, down into a dungeon or anything like that. It's actually a finished living space, but it is in the lower level of the house. Anyway, so I was painting and it took me two days. I actually ripped the carpet up off the stairs and then I painted and I had to do, in some cases, I had to do, you know, primer and then two coats of paint um so in some on some areas it was actually three coats of paint which is a lot of painting <laughs> I was so tired after those two days so I did um do a little bit of work in my craft room but <clears throat> not anything that was like filmable if that makes sense I um I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything like it was kind of haphazard here and there. I was getting done some things. Okay. So this one is going to be just a bunch of layers. Um, I, I kind of had an inspiration, but it doesn't look anything like the inspiration. So I'm not even going to show you the inspiration. Um, but all of these papers are from one paper pack. And I thought I would go with the blue theme. I was having a really hard time with the month of May. Um, I've, of course, I always want to do flowers. And, you know, there are flowers. 
but I also don't want to bore you guys to death with the same floral pattern over and over and over again. And you know, April showers bring May flowers, and so I wanted to do something like that. I tried to find a cool image of a maypole or something, and I just I couldn't find anything. And so I had a couple of different ideas that I searched and searched and searched, and um, finally I said, you know what? This morning I started digging through my paper packs and I said, I'm just going to choose a paper pack and I'm going to make something from it. And so that is what I have done. The paper pack is a Recollections Hot Buy, this one. Speaking of Recollections Hot Buy, oh my goodness, have you guys noticed how terrible their, um, their sales are these days. You, you know, I think since since Hobby Lobby quit with their 40% off coupon, Michaels doesn't do any good coupons anymore. The best coupon I've seen from Michaels, the only coupon, is 20% off. And so um, I remember, you know, you, you used to get like these hot pads. You could get you know, buy one, get one free, or even cheaper. Like, I think I bought mine for $5.99 each, usually, and their normal price is $19.99 or something like that. And so for it to never be on sale anymore, and they never even give you a decent coupon, I'm telling you what, they have a, um, a fall-themed paper pad right now that has adorable paper in it but I am not going to pay full price. Not until I absolutely have to, you know, at some point I will run out of paper, right? And um, they're not gonna sell paper in the craft stores anymore and I'm gonna have to buy it online and I'm gonna have to pay full, full price, but not today, doggone it. Just makes me irritated. I asked him the other day, like, so do you guys, honor other stores coupons and they're like nope like, no you don't do you it actually reminds me of back a long time ago I um I, I took their cake decorating Michael's cake decorating class and you know you have to buy all this stuff and boy do they get you because it's not cheap all that cake uh, like cake pans and all that kind of stuff and you have to buy all the tips and you have to buy all the food coloring and you have to buy just all this stuff and they would have like every other week they'd have one 50 off coupon or something like that for one item and it's almost like it's like that again but they're not even giving a coupon for 50 percent off you know the coupons are worse Anyway, come on, glue. So yeah, I just, I've been so busy with that painting and I'm actually changing the color. Um, about, I don't remember when it was, but I, I repainted the downstairs uh, it's been within this last year and I really liked that color and so that is the color that I did the stairwell and it it shares walls with the um, upstairs living room and I don't really know how to explain other than you can see the walls from the living room even though it's not part of the living room and um, so since I you know, change that. The whole living room needs to be repainted, which means the hallway needs to be repainted, which means the kitchen needs to be repainted. So I will be repainting everything, but um, it won't be like, get it done now. You know, I had to get the stair area done so that when they were ready to put the carpet down and all that, I wasn't painting over fresh carpet which I did not want to do. But um, anyway, I will be doing lots of painting over the next, I don't know, couple of months. I think what I'm gonna do, since I'm getting older, 
I've noticed things hurt. <laughs> and um, I think that what I'm going to do is just kind of like pick a wall or two and only do that for the day. Um, because, oh my goodness, you guys, my hands hurt, my back hurt, my feet, everything. And of course I was on the stairs, so going up and down, up and down, up and down the stairs. Yeah, it was lots of fun. Lots of fun. Back when I was younger, and it's not that I'm old, it's just, you know, you can tell when you start getting older because things hurt. <laughs> but, um... When I was younger, I remember um, I would be at home during the day with the kids and I'd be like, you know, I feel like I want to change the paint color of my bedroom. And I would paint the bedroom in one day and all by myself, you know, my husband was at work. So I would do the whole thing in one day. By the time he came home from work, I had repainted the bedroom and, and I had kids. And now I'm like, oh, I don't know. I taped it off. <laughs> That's about all I could manage today. So this one is going to be very quick today, which is probably good because some of the ones I've done lately were awfully long and drawn out. I also feel like I'm rambling a little bit, trying to get too many thoughts out. I have to run into town. Man, it's crazy how we run out of food. I don't know if that's just a me thing or if that's an everybody thing, but I am constantly at the store. I just can't seem to buy enough and, and I'll buy and I'll think, oh, that'll be good. That'll keep us busy for a while. And then all of a sudden, there's nothing, nothing at all. And the poor people hardly ever get an actual dinner. I've told you that before. Let's see, I don't, I have to stand up so I can line this up. tell but I think that's pretty good okay I forgot to ink this one <clears throat> so I did ink around everything but I forgot this one. Oh, I forgot a couple of them these little flowers were flowers on some of the scrapbook paper in the pack and I just fussy cut them out Our weather's changing quite a bit. It's only supposed to get to like 72 today. And I looked outside and I saw the, the wind was blowing just a little bit. I don't know how much, so I think it'll be, be a little chilly when I go out. I lost my picture, there it is. Okay, so I'm just adding a little, a little bit of flowers here and there.
this one was hard to fussy cut out. I actually managed to, there's a, like a branch or twig. You know, it's a flower, so it's not a branch. <laughs> stem, maybe it would be a stem. <laughs> a really skinny stem right there, and I managed to cut it out without tearing it. All right, you guys, we're just about done here. Oh, so I've been working on redoing a fall journal that I made last year. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to show you a flip through of it pretty soon. I have to go into town to try and find some fabric for it. Um, anyway, okay, so this is the month of May, you guys, and hopefully I will be back soon with June, um, and we will be halfway done with the calendar. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.